Hey guys, Michigan Prepared here. Listen, uh, about this whole financial crisis thing going on in the banks and whatever else. Did you guys pay attention to yesterday? I didn't make a video. Um, I was going to wait until today, and actually I was going to wait to do it until I was on the road. But uh, I'm sitting here at the school in my personal vehicle uh, waiting on my daughter to get out of school. But I figured I'd make a video for you now. If you guys didn't pay attention to yesterday... Um, there was 25 banks that uh, stopped trading in the stock market because uh, something about their assets or something didn't didn't meet the the threshold, so they stopped trading. Those 25 banks are, uh, from what I gather, are destined to close. And I don't know all of them, guys. All that, all that said on the stock market was uh, that they were getting ready to, or, or that their financial assets weren't up to par and they weren't worth trading and they're fixing to crash. I don't know how true that is, but the consensus around the U.S. is the same. I've talked to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people on a live chat that I did uh, with another... Uh, youtuber and uh, so many people guys have pulled their money out of the banks it's gonna crash you guys you see in history every currency has crashed at some point in time as far as I know the US currency is the longest standing currency that's been around and it's destined to crash guys it's all you got all these foreign countries Russia and China and a couple others that are sorry little dog little dog you got all these uh, countries trying to uh, become the world's currency superpower and somebody is fixing to come out on top somebody's fixing to be the big dog um, we can't stay the big dogs forever if you pay attention to history guys it's it, it's changed hands several times I think the US dollar became the big dog, what, back in the 70s or 80s, 60s maybe? I can't remember. I was born in the 80s. Um, I know I was, I was searching for it the other day and I can't remember exactly when the US dollar became top dog again, but uh, either way, it's got to crash at some point, guys. Um, get your money out of the banks have cash on hand get ready for the collapse it's destined to happen I haven't watched the stock market yet today to see what the what the trend is doing <coughs> but uh, gold and silver it dropped in price just a little bit which means the US currency went up just a little bit um, but I don't think that's the end all to be all, guys. I think the end all to be all is the uh, the crash of uh, America economy as we know it. Um, I think the bottom line, guys, is going to the CBD, uh, yeah, CBDC, uh, central bank digital, you know, money. The funny thing about that money, guys, is if it goes to a central bank digital currency, that means it's one bank ran by the government. And, um, sorry, trying to readjust a little dog here. If it goes to a central bank digital currency, guys, they're talking, and you can find it on the web. I don't have any screenshots for you on it, but uh, I was reading up on it yesterday on my, on my day off. I didn't get to bed until about 2, 3 in the morning. I was just up searching and looking and trying to get some info. But uh, that thing, you know, that little, it's about the size of a grain of rice. Uh, it has uh, RFID properties, you know, radio frequencies. And basically, uh, you know, to purchase something, you're gonna walk up to the, uh, you know, the machine that you would typically stick your uh, stick your debit card in, and you're just gonna, you know, 
tap your hand to it and it's going to be specific to you through the one banking central banking digital currency system that's what they're leaning to and I had another epiphany too guys all right check it out so if all these banks collapse right if you own or if you have a, a, a lease or a loan on your house, you know, a mortgage, if you have a loan on your vehicles, and the banks crash, who takes over that loan, guys? The government does. The government now owns your house instead of the bank if you have a mortgage on it. Same with your vehicle. What else are they trying to implement, guys? You know, I feel like my tinfoil hat's on really, really tight. But I haven't been wrong yet. Uh, and I'm not tooting my own horn. It's just I've been watching this shit since uh, Donald Trump's second year in office. I, I, I was seeing what was going on. But what else are they trying to implement? 15-minute cities, guys. Think about that for a second. Okay, if all these banks collapse and the government takes over all your uh, all the bank's assets, meaning the mortgage on your house, the mortgage on your vehicle, the mortgage on your Harley, your camper, whatever the hell it is you got a got a payment on, um, guess what they can do to you from there? Sorry, I got something in my eye. They can uh, they can take it from you. What would taking it from, from you benefit? Well, they want you to own nothing. They want you to have nothing. They want you to be 100% completely dependent on the government. They'll tell you when to shower. They'll tell you where to work. They'll tell you how much food you can buy. They'll tell you where you can and cannot go. The problem is, you won't be allowed to do anything unless you bend over and take a splinter broom handle with no grease and conform to what they want you to conform to. Individual IDs, tracking. You guys think I'm wrong? Look it up. It's been in the works this whole time, guys. I'm not going to conform. I can guarantee you 100% I will not conform. You guys look up the state of Michigan if you don't already live here. I know a few of my subscribers live here. Look up the state of Michigan, guys. Look how vast and empty and wild the Upper Peninsula is. Look up how much Manistee National Forest is here in Michigan. Because I'm going to be in one of the two places. I will not get the chip. Absolutely will not. You are not going to track me. You are not going to control me. I am a human. I am an individual. I am not the government's property. I don't give a shit what anybody says. My theory is, is why do you think these, these toxic spills are happening? Because they don't want you to go live in the woods and survive off the wildlife. Look how much wildlife has been decimated because of this vinyl chloride spill in Ohio. Hundreds of thousands of animals, guys, are turning up dead because of this vinyl chloride spill. Why doesn't the government give two shits? Because they know you and I can't go out there and get our own food now. <laughs> they know it's going to be scarce. Did you guys ever look up the cloud seeding thing? I think I did a video on it. You guys refer back to that video. I showed you what they use uh, to cloud seed. It's silver... Oh, hell, I'm going to have to look it back up. If I got it on my phone still, I'll post it up here for you. Silver something. 
It's extremely toxic. Again, you guys ever notice that when you wake up in the morning and it turns out to be a bright blue sky, if you can guys get up early enough, but within a matter of hours, clouds as far as my, uh, the eye can see. There's people throughout YouTube who have recorded the chemtrails coming off these planes and next thing you know, within an hour, the sky is gloomy and just filled with clouds. It's because they're cloud seeding, guys. You notice these weather patterns are strange? What do you think that stuff that they're using to cloud seed does? Hmm? It's getting into your soil. What is that going to do? It's going to make it harder to farm or grow crops, guys. Why would they want that? Because they want us dependent on them. They want us eating crickets and bugs and, and lab-grown meats and 3D printed meats and, and who knows what the hell they're putting in it. I also did a, a, a video, guys, and I can't remember which video it was in. I told you guys to stock up on gardening soil, fertilizers, stuff like that. And store a bunch of bags of fertilizer, either out in your uh, gardening soil, either out in your garage, in your basement. Get a truckload of that stuff and save it. You guys can grow uh, vegetables and, and potters, planters in your house. I suggest you do it. I suggest you get your money out of the banks, guys. I suggest you stock up on beans and rice. I suggest you stock up on, uh, you know, I was pushing the zero water filter for quite a while. And actually, I'm going to throw mine in the garbage. I've seen another study, guys, where the zero water doesn't filter out. I mean, it filters out most stuff. Don't get me wrong. But there's a couple little things that it doesn't filter out. But there's a water pitcher out there called Water Drop. And it's about the same price as the Zero Water Pitcher. And it does a way better job. It's called Water Drop. Um, I'll be happy with the Zero if that's all I have. But I want something a little bit better for my pets and, and my family. So I'm thinking about investing, investing in a Water Drop uh, water filter. And a bunch of filters for it. Berkey, junk. Berkey is 100% junk. Doesn't filter out crap. As a matter of fact, it adds, uh, Berkey's got a, a, the white, oh, I forget what they are. They're the white canisters that go underneath and they're supposed to filter out something else, but they're adding a shit ton of aluminum to the water, which is toxic to the human body. Don't trust the Berkey, guys. I don't care what anybody says. There's independent lab studies on uh, the internet, actual lab studies to where the water, this guy tests a whole bunch of different water pitchers, sends the water samples to the lab, the lab sends back the report, and uh, Water Drop by far did the best out of them all. <coughs> Get ready, guys. They're trying to delay the inevitable, the government is. But here's the process that's going to happen, okay, guys? The banks are going to collapse. Nobody's going to be able to buy anything. You're going to have riots in the street, civil unrest. You're going to have all-out chaos. It's going to be an every-man-for-himself scenario. Uh, the police, the EMS, the fire, they're probably just going to say, screw it, and, uh, you know, go protect their own families. It ain't going to be worth it at that point. There's going to be so, so much mad civil unrest and chaos that it, it's going to be insane. And then, I don't know how long it's going to take. Six months, year, two years, three, I don't know. Of this whole civil unrest, chaos, crap. And then the government is going to step back in and try to smooth everything out. The promises of a better lifestyle. And that's where the CBDC comes in. Central bank digital currency. But the only way you can sign up for it is to get your debit card. You know what I mean? And uh, 
I'm not conforming. That's going to be the only way you're going to be able to buy food, gas. Well, you ain't going to be able to buy gas because they want 15-minute cities also. But that's that's the only way you're going to be able to buy anything at all, guys. By getting your debit card. You know what I mean? I'm not having it. Again, look up the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Look how vast and, and, and sparse it is. Just woods, as far as the eye can see. There's virtually there's really not a whole lot up there. Look up the Manistee National Forest, guys. We have miles and miles and miles of Manistee National Forest. I'm soon to call that home. I don't know what the rest of y'all are doing, but I'm not bending over. I'm not taking it. If the government government wants my house, you can take it. I could care less. Save me the hassle. You know how easy it is to build wood huts out in the middle of nowhere? It's simple. It's real simple. You know how easy it is to live out of my camper? It's real easy. You know how easy it is to camouflage my camper? Real easy. And even if my camper goes to hell, guys, there's a lot of salvageable parts. Just build a hut in the middle of the woods, guys. Yeah, winters are going to suck. Try and figure out how to keep clothing, stuff like that. That's, that's going to all suck. But if there's a will, there's a way. I think the collapse is coming, guys. Are you ready? I don't know. That being said, guys, that's all I got for you today. Stay safe out there. Keep your heads on a swivel. Michigan prepared out.